Where are we going? <laughs> right now, we are waiting on Justin. If he would hurry up, it's 4.59. He gets off in like 45 seconds, and then it might take him nine and a half minutes to get home, but I'm ready to go. We are going to put out jug lines this evening and hopefully catch us a big giant ass catfish. And if not, whatever. That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you don't catch nothing. Sometimes you catch everything. I don't know. We'll see. I just wish he would hurry up. Wow, you sound really, really, really um, positive about this trip we're about to go on. I am positive. The way I remain positive is to expect the worst outcome. Sorry about your yard. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, pretty sure it was you. Caught you red-handed or mud-handed. Okay, so we're jugging that way. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. set out so far. I got one, two, three. I've got some stuff going on now. Ah. Alright, so we set out about 15. We haven't been keeping count. We're gonna count on the way back, I guess. We are working as fast as we can to beat the sunlight because Justin made us go 58 miles away from the dock, I think. The 58 or 62? Uh, 62. 62 miles away from the dock. Unexpected travels, but whatever. Special the thick noodles. You think you spent over a hundred bucks? Oh god no. That was near though. Because so my old noodles, some of the ones that are long like that one, I cut the PVC pipe in half. And they were only like uh, a couple dollars for a length of PVC, which you could turn into. Yeah, a lily pad caught on that one already. Look. Hmm? The lily pad caught on that one. So Joe, hey. what all happened today? <laughs> oh, nothing. We hooked up to the boat and took off, like usual. Yeah, it's smooth sailing, usual trip. Huh? Okay. Justin got stuck in his own yard. You got stuck. Uh, I showed up and he was already stuck, pretty much. The plug was still in the boat, it's full the of water. The plug was in the boat, it was latched on the trailer. Pretty basic day. We came out here. Only, well, how long did it take us to go 52 miles four minutes or so it's almost dark um things are looking up we should be back to the house by 11 p.m <laughs> i think i just want to say clarify i haven't done a thing since we started well, justin is doing everything what? thanks yeah, justin. your noodle justin. just fell off the tee uh-oh no it's still no, on no it's still it's on still it's attached on. to the string I see the PVC. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather go and pick it up and fix it? No. No, we don't want to do so that. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We don't fix it. We don't fix stuff. We just let it break. First noodle, last noodle. Different colors. That way you don't lose count.
Big old dead catfish, bro. For real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why are they dying? I think it's oxygen. Hot. Right now. Take your moment, smell it. Look at the eyes. The eyes are... Man, he's still great. He's still fresh. He's, his eyes are good color. When you get in that light, though. Don't bite me now. Dude, you're still moving. <laughs> Sweet. Time for a new. there's for sure all right so I've been doing a pretty terrible job of explaining everything we're doing this morning we came back out here with Maddie's dad to go check the jug lines and about four or five of them had been washed away by lily pads so we ended up finding a few we had a little bit of boat trouble we got through that we did pick up a couple of fish which were dead which we kind of thought was strange at first but we thought about it later and we think it was due to the oxygen levels in the water we caught a couple gaff tops, which you mainly catch those in salt water, which means there was probably, I, I, the water might be a little salty right now that might have something to do with it, I'm not sure. But these two that we picked up, you could tell they hadn't been dead that long, so we went ahead and put them on ice. And uh, the way you can tell that, her dad was explaining to me this morning, is they get like cloudy film over their eyes. And if the film is super cloudy, almost gray, they're no good. But if you can still see all the features of their eyes, good to go. So we're about to run out here right now. It's like 2 p.m., middle of the day. It's like the worst time for catching catfish, but we're gonna go see. We're gonna go pick up the jugs and just wrap them up, give them back to Justin. Um, appreciate you, Justin, for letting us use your jugs. Cause I didn't feel like bringing mine. They were tangled up. Cut. a chance to see it from here but Pick him 
a good one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Your dad said right here on this point. Exactly what he said. There's a jug way over there. Uh-huh. Might as well use these. Wow. That's a good fish. Find an escape there. Oh, we got enough room in the ice chest. Uh -oh. We catch another one like that, we're gonna have to hurry up. I was just saying, like, I was like, ah, oh, middle of the day is not ideal for catfish. Maybe today's a little different. Sweet. We just finally found some some luck. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's the shirt. This whole trip's been nothing but bad luck. It's because I took the concert on. Mm -hmm. So I think we found the key to success. Yeah. Okay. Really, really, really um, positive about this trip we're about to go on. I am positive. The way I remain positive is to expect the worst outcome. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good one. We're not grabbing. Okay. Want me to grab him? Yeah. He's gonna spin that hook out of his mouth. Barely in there. Damn, he was barely hooked, look. Yeah. <laughs> he kept spinning it. You know what I'm saying? He's really hooked. Yeah. Good. See where it came out the top? Oh yeah. That's because he kept spinning. Yeah, he's pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. He didn't get the camera. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> it's close. Yeah, hurry, because I don't want to. I don't want to freak out. Just, just drop them right there. Here, just take this. Damn. You got enough room. Hope they don't catch any more. <laughs> That's the last jug. Um. That's a crab trap. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I tried boxing a filet knife. Didn't work. See the seam? Yeah. Hmm. Is that your blood or the catfish's blood? Uh, it's really just. Can't tell. <laughs> no way to know. It's probably his on the knife. <laughs>